Hey guys, how are you? Everybody good? Thank you for your patience. Um, yeah, so I got a little carried away with all of my exercises. <sighs> Today was like an excellent day to be outside. And so I did my exercise and I lingered. I had some lingerization doing my laps, but we got the grill going, right? You guys know how long that takes to set up because your coals got to get hot and all of that. But I came in, um, got myself together, sort of, don't judge, to make you guys potato salad, right? So true Southern potato salad doesn't have a lot of ingredients, but I feel super, super strongly about it. You guys know I'm Southern, right? It's part of my charm. And potato salad is one of those like super great things. So I'm gonna grab, if you saw what I posted earlier, then I'm using red potatoes, right? Thin skin, you do not have to peel them. Hey Carl, thanks for tuning in. You do not have to peel them. Some people put um, extra stuff in potato salad. I like a traditional potato salad. I will say some days I vary. Like my homegirl Dez once cooked like a loaded baked potato salad. It was delicious. And then there's this place here in Jacksonville called Tidbits and they have like a smooth potato salad that's heavy on the garlic. That is amazing. I can just eat that by the spoonful. So I want to talk to you guys about how I make my potato salad. It's pretty close to my family's recipe, but also I wanted to show you guys the seasoning. We talked about it. I'm a fan of a big jar, right? So this is a seasoning blend that I have put together myself based on seasonings, um, based on a flavor profile from a restaurant that I like here, Trap House Kitchen, Trap House Chicken. I wanna show you guys, can you see? Okay, so I'm gonna run you through it really quick. It's a spicy lemon pepper based on the sexy red chicken at Trap House Chicken um, here in Jacksonville, Florida. It is paprika, a little brown sugar, um, obviously lemon, right? The dry lemon, crushed back pepper. I like it spicy, so if you notice, I don't know if you guys can see through the jar, but those are the... Um, crushed chili peppers because I like a little heat and then salt also there is like rosemary um, I mentioned paprika what else probably some oregano and some parsley this is one of those blends that I throw things together and I may never be able to recreate it exactly the same way again because I did not count the ratios but it's based on the sexy red this is what the chicken is seasoned with hello everybody how are you guys doing? This is what the chicken is seasoned with that Sean actually has on the grill right now. So I can't show you that because who wants to watch chicken grilling? It smells delicious, like the smoke is billowing and all of that, but it's not very exciting. I'm going to show you guys how to whip up a quick potato salad. So mayo. Now, do I have favorites? Yes. Do I buy what's on buy one, get one free? Also, yes. So when my favorite goes on sale, I might buy four instead of two, but Hellman's was on sale. So we stocked up the last time. Um, sweet relish. I'm at the very last end of the drawer, but I bought it when it was BOGO. So I still have a, a whole new one that wasn't open. And then some regular old yellow mustard. Now, if you want to get fancy, you can use grainy mustard, which I love, like, you know, when I say grainy, you guys know it's the one that looks rustic, right? You can see the mustard seeds. That's what I mean by good grain. Um, onion salt, garlic always. Really, crushed black pepper, do I even have to say it? Um, everyday seasoning, and I don't see where I put, where could I have put my pink Himalayan sea salt? It's over here on the island. <laughs> So let me grab that, right? Because I don't know where you get your potatoes from, where I get my potatoes from, they don't come seasoned. Just not a thing. And as much as I like the texture and that feel of a potato, it's pretty flavorless. It's a good place to start flavors. So that's what I do. 
So we've got red potatoes. And then, not everybody does this. Here, you guys know, there's a trend in my cooking. Onions, red and yellow sweet baby bell peppers. So that's everything that was in the picture. Um, I'm going to start building my sauce and then I'm gonna add my um, potatoes. And then, oh, I did boil my eggs, but they were too hot. So I had to put them in an ice bath because I couldn't touch them. Also guys, if you like a softer boiled egg, now is not the time for that. When you're making deviled eggs, potato salad, you want a hard boiled egg, not overcooked, but like a solid yolk, okay? Are you guys ready? Let's, let's start. Also, <laughs> I know somebody's gonna ask me for this recipe. There is not one. I don't quite know the ratios, but I'll try to pay attention. Let me see, do we have any thoughts? Okay, nothing I need to address right now. Thank you guys for joining. Um, if you haven't noticed, I made the announcement, the Kitchen at Coley Manor is on YouTube. Putting myself out there. So, I also am not that great at tech. If you have any skills you want to like call me up and discuss how to do an intro video, how to edit from an Android system, and then all of my musician friends, if you guys want to gift me with like an intro, like cute little song, also would be greatly appreciated. That was just two heaping tablespoons of mayo, which looks to be honestly about a third of a cup. So, cause you guys know when you use these tablespoons, it's not really a measure. I do have a couple of tasting spoons just so I can make sure the ratios are right. Um, this is gonna be technical with this mustard. Are y'all ready? It's a couple good squirts. Okay, I put in three squirts just to be safe. And then all of this, it's probably, it's less than a quarter cup. It's not even an eighth. I'm gonna just dump that in there. And then if we need more, oh gosh, that looks weird. Okay, also weird. If we need more, then I'll check it out. I am going to eyeball. You guys have to season things to your taste, right? And I haven't put the potatoes in, but there are certain amounts of salt, pepper, um, other seasonings that I know what I like to add. For me, it's about four to five half turns, right? When I look at it, if I'm honest with you, it's about a quarter of a teaspoon. I'm gonna start off seasoning the sauce and then once I get my potatoes and stuff in, I'll adjust the seasoning as necessary. Also, I salted that potato water because I'm a water salt person. When I'm cooking pasta, right? I told you guys, as salty as the sea. Uh, potatoes, I put like a pinch. Um, rice and grits all get a little bit of salt. Whether you're eating a lot of salt or not, um, you want to season your pasta water. Let's see. Hey, oh, oh, look, both of my quiches are talking to me. Hello, both of the quiches, how are you guys? I really am trying to use what I have in the kitchen. Also, I'm putting myself out there because you guys know I'm a little introverted and I usually like don't put myself out there except for things that I enjoy like cooking. So welcome to the kitchen at Coley Manor. I'm excited that you are here. If you didn't see the announcement or hear the announcement from a video yesterday, I started a YouTube channel. So over on YouTube, I am the Kitchen at Coley Manor. And guys, I'm so excited. I posted a YouTube only video, like one that you guys didn't see. Someone who I don't know liked it and thought enough of it to comment. I got my first comment. It was very exciting. They're going to make the pantry tomato bisque that I made using everyday ingredients. I won't talk about it here. You guys should go check it out, right? I'm trying to get my viewer hours up. Let me know what you think though. Okay, so we've done salt, cracked pepper, uh, garlic, a uh, little everyday seasoning. I am going to stir that up. And then guys, honestly, 
there's one thing that I do add at the end. Um, once I taste it, you might be surprised, but if you're from the South, you might do it too. So don't judge me. It's just what I like. I'm gonna take that extra mayo off the spoon because I hate being wasteful. Just stirring that up, nothing fancy. There's no fancy techniques involved. All right, let's see. That's actually seasoned really well. However, it might change once we add the potatoes because potatoes soak up seasoning. Sweet onions, red baby bell pepper, yellow baby bell pepper. And guys, this is just regular old southern delicious potato salad. This isn't fancy, but if you've ever wondered how like the aunties get their potato salad to be delicious, it's probably very similar to this. Do you guys have a designated potato salad person in your family? We definitely have designated potato salad people in our family. And if you show up in your potato salad, like if you bring potato salad and it's terrible, it will sit out and nobody will eat it. We try to be polite about it. Like, right, we put something over and dump it. Yeah, okay. You guys know how it works, right? But you definitely might score a Southern, oh, she tried, bless her heart, if your potato salad is not good. Okay, so while I stir this up, let me see, how are you guys doing? New recipe for date night. Do you do, Nadia, you're from Carolina. You, I'm sure you have a potato salad recipe. Okay. So it's mixed up, and I'm gonna say, I have not added the eggs, but it looks a little loose, right? Because the eggs act as a binder when you get it in there. But they were too hot for me to touch. So therefore, I'm gonna take that off of the eye that was hot. Therefore, you guys have to watch me peel an egg. All right, how are you guys doing tonight? Holla at me. What, what do we have going on? What are you guys cooking? The holiday is coming up. Do you guys have anything special going on for the holiday? Are you chilling with the family? Let me see. <laughs> Your dad is in charge of the potato salad, Nadia. I'm not mad at that. My dad is the dad who mans the grill. My mom, baby, this potato salad, it gives you your whole life. I had to grab those eggs. Although I will say, once she tried to like run to Sam's or run to Publix and get the potato salad and judge it up, I had to give mommy the side eye. Now, of course, I'm pretty sure she did it because she was tired of us asking her to make potato salad. Because we didn't for a while, but we caught on. And then we were like, oh, I, I see what you did, mommy. And now you're back on real potato salad duty. Okay. So, this is pretty easy to peel, but I need, oh, I'm putting the shells in this bowl. And once I get the peels off, I'm gonna wash my hands and chop. Okay, boiled eggs. Do you guys like hard boiled or soft boiled? I swear there was this girl I knew, and I must have asked her every single time I saw her eating an egg, how she get the perfect egg. She times them. <laughs> so if you know how you like your egg, there are charts out there. Soft boiled eggs take about six minutes, um, but they'll still be runny in the middle. Medium, eight, hard, 10. That's a pretty hard and fast rule, but that's after you take them out, putting them in an ice bath. Yeah? I can't see the comments from here. Y'all, let me tell you. I've noticed an issue with me with this COVID-19. I'm out of contact lenses, right? So I've been squinty McGee for like the last week. And I know I need to go get a new glasses prescription, but I don't wear my glasses often enough. 
so I can't just throw on my glasses. I know, it's crazy and slightly vain, but here I am. Here I am. You know me. You know I'm extra. You love me anyway, right? Okay. I'm going to put the eggs in here because I rinsed my eggs after I peeled them just in case some shells were stuck. And then I'm going to wash my hands. My office is slightly crazy. Don't judge. And by office, I mean kitchen because I sit legit in the corner of my kitchen to do my work. All right. Eggshells and rinse. Trying to get the water off so the chocolate marine isn't mad at me when I mess up the kitchen. Now I have to wash my hands. So somebody give me a beatbox for 20 seconds. Are y'all ready? Let me see. Oh, that's hot water. Okay. All right. I know, Keisha, listen, I know my mommy's potato salad is the bomb. I know that. She knows that. You know that. She tried to pull the okie doke on us, and we were all like, and we were like, oh, she wants to take a break from potato salad. I get it. All right. Solid 20 seconds of hand washing, hand wash towel, fresh today. And then I'll probably wash all of them tonight. I need to turn you guys. Okay, I'm going to just use that towel. I'm going to put you back where you were. Is this a good view? All right. Can you guys see? Are we back? Okay, so I'm just going to move this out of my way. I showed you guys potato salad. In case you're just joining us, it is mayo mustard i'm gonna get the new one sweet relish which is not my jam so i don't put a lot in there and now i'm about to chop up three eggs i usually i like an eggier salad because i like eggs so i use one egg per potato i only did three potatoes um because it's just sean and i however um we'll probably have this tomorrow for fish fry friday right so Grilled chicken with potato salad and also fish fry Friday with potato salad. And I should have made some beans. I don't know what I was thinking. Okay. So this, my friends, is a hard boiled egg. Oh, that shadow is random. Let me see if I can get it to you guys. A hard boiled egg for 10 minutes. That's what it looks like. So it's also going to help the potato salad have that yellow color that we're used to. Um, and now I'm wondering, because you guys know all Southern potato salad has the paprika sprinkle. Do y'all think I should save one of these eggs for my paprika sprinkle for the top? But it is just shining now, so probably not. Let me see here. I'm going to just toss that yolk in. Hey, handsome. Oh my gosh, those look amazing. You want to show the people? Sure. You want me to do it. All right, guys, the chicken has come in off the grill. Um, right? Put it in it the oven. smells amazing. Yes, I will put it in the oven. I'm going to put it on 300. Okay, so I put that in there and I put it on 300 just to keep it warm. So, the chocolate marine cooks often. <laughs> he just doesn't usually show up on camera. But we did our laps and then we got our dinner together, together today. I cannot see. Okay, I'm gonna scrunch up. Oh, hey everybody. How are you guys doing, Sue Ellen, Keandra? Hey, thank you for joining. Do you guys have anything special planned for the holiday weekend? I know it's a little harder. How are you guys connecting? Like, are you doing video chatting with family that you will ordinarily have over for dinner? Because remember, we are still following the rules, right? Like, collectively. Okay. That was my lecture moment for today. So, 
Southern potato salad. I like to taste my eggs, so I give them like just a rough chop up. I don't do like fine dice for my eggs in my salad. And I have to pay attention because my knife skills are not that great and I do not want to lose a finger. So you'll notice I go pretty slow when I'm chopping things. All right, so that's two eggs. I'm doing a total of three because I'm doing one per. Then I'm gonna stir and taste it again because once you add ingredients, you know it throws off your flavor profile. Get that yolk in there. You guys, I'm feeling a certain kind of way about not having the decorative one. I'm going to sit this hard-boiled egg aside and see if I can slice it up to make it decorative. But I make no promises. And yes, now I'm thinking about these baked beans now that I have mentioned them to you. So by the time I pack Sean Coley's lunch, there may or may not be baked beans. Depending on how I'm feeling. Okay. Three potatoes, three eggs. We have mayo, mustard, sweet relish, several seasonings, onions, one yellow baby bell, one red baby bell. We'll stir this in. Now guys, I don't want you to laugh, but there's a technique that I do that I'm not sure whether or not everyone else does. I like a really specific texture to my potato salad. So, once I stir it in, I wanna show you guys. It's not as loose as it was, right? Like, because the egg is soaking up. Some of that mayo sauce mixture. Break those yolks up a little. All right, once I get to this stage, I grab my handy multi-purpose tool, potato masher. I don't mash all of it. I just do like a little bit because I like that creamy texture. That's one of my secrets to getting the texture I like. Now, it's still fairly chunky because it has the onions and all of that. And then this masher, you can see is large. So chunks do go through it, but it just helps me get the texture that I like without adding more mayo because too much mayo is not a good look for me. If you like mayo, if that's your jam, that's your potato salad. Live your best mayonnaise life. Thank you, my love. No problem. Okay. All right. So I'm, I'm going to show you guys the texture difference. want to get it stirred. I actually might need a little more, but we will see. Okay. Why, hello again. All right. That's the makings of some good potato salad right there. All right. I'm going to put you guys back. Can you still see? Okay. All right, so do you guys have like a specialty of potato salad? Y'all, my sweater is being unruly tonight. I'm fine, babe. I'm good. Thank you, though. <laughs> He's so helpful. Y'all, listen, this chocolate marine of mine, he takes good care of me. Okay, I am going to add a smidge more mayonnaise. Mm. 
That's it. I do not want to overdo it. I'm going to add a little mustard just to offset that. Once I add one, I always add another. And then I'm going to mix it and taste it to see if I need to adjust my seasoning. You guys saw that chicken? What'd you think? I thought it looks amazing. I will do a pretty shot of it um, when I fix the food tonight. So you gotta stay tuned for that. I'm gonna fold this extra mayo mustard in. Take my tasting spoon, right? The clean one. Okay, and then I need my smoked paprika. Are you handy? Look, look at that. When the first thing that touches your hand is the thing you need. I'm gonna put this in an appropriate size dish. I'm gonna finish it up like every Southern woman ever in life finishes her potato salad. Let me grab the dish I need. Stay put, I'll be right back. Still here, I had to wash my hands. You missed the chicken. I'll show you the chicken shortly. Okay, one glass container. I'm gonna open this up. Then I'm going to spoon potato salad in. This is how every Southern potato salad cook I have ever met in my whole life finishes her potato salad. So all my friends from the North, I'm about to give you one of our secrets. Hold tight. Do not take my Southern card, Southerners. Okay, so they put it in the container. You see, it looks delicious. Yes, mm hmm yep, you guys trust me. I left a little bit in the bowl, but that's probably what I'm gonna eat, if I'm honest with you. Okay, so you have your dish, your pretty glass container when you're taking it somewhere. I need to move the spoon that I use, move that. I did cut this egg um, a really weird way. So let me see what I'm going to do. I need to, hmm, give me one second. I had to think that through. Okay. Gonna try and slice it the long way. Right? One slice over the top. This is taking precision. Uh, so close to being perfect. Second slice, and then a funny misshapen one. It just is what it is. Okay, here we go. Right? And then for the pièce de résistance, smoked paprika. Every potato 
salad you have ever seen at every barbecue, every church picnic has looked very similar to that. Tell me I'm wrong. Uh-huh, yeah. I know you can't, you cannot. I'm gonna put the lid on this and stick it in the fridge so it can chill. And I'm gonna show you guys that chicken shortly. Not trying to burn myself. Right? I'm gonna sit that there. Let's see here. Okay guys, so here we go. How are you guys doing? A pinch of sugar in her potato salad. I have seen that, but I use the sweet pickle relish, so I did not need the pinch of sugar because it's a little sweeter than usual. Right? So, <laughs> all right. How's everybody doing tonight? Everybody's good? Thank you for hanging out with me. Okay, that in a nutshell is how you make a strong southern potato salad. I'm probably going to reshoot some things. Oh my goodness. Hold on. Let me get that together. I'm going to stand right here. Okay. <laughs> so I'm probably going to reshoot it just for the YouTube channel. In case you guys have not heard, I have a YouTube channel now. Um, it's the Kitchen at Coley Manor. I posted a YouTube exclusive video of some soup that I made. I made a tomato bisque using ingredients just from the pantry. I'm going to throw that picture as my um, story so you guys can see it. But go to YouTube like subscribe watch a video if you've seen a video and you know you like it just give me a like right like i'm trying to build it up share it with your friends thank you guys for joining me in the kitchen at coley manor and i will see you guys tomorrow for fish fry friday have a good night stay safe be blessed i love you guys <laughs>